Hey guys, it's Emperor Zai here. Uh, first off, I appreciate you guys liking, commenting, subscribing, and just being here. So I'm going to try something brand new this time. Something brand new. <laughs> I know you guys were like. So first things first, um, I'm on here, and I actually have enough money for Morty. So I'm going to be buying Morty. I'm going to like the character, as you guys can see, which is really cool. But beyond that, I'm actually going to do something very interesting. I'm going to be telling you guys a story, like a story time of my life or something funny or interesting that happens as I'm actively playing the game. Which is cool, because now you can see me whoop on some butt while I tell you guys an amazing story. So this is really fun because, uh, number one, I've never played with Morty before. <laughs> like, ever. I kind of have an idea what he does when I play with him. But, it also um, just allows me to play the game and actively play while I'm telling you guys a story. Something that's completely different from what I've seen other YouTubers do. They may they may have like a, like a Call of Duty overlay or like a Fortnite overlay or something like that. But they're not actively playing the game while they're telling you guys a story. So, let me get right into it. <laughs> so, I attend a, excuse me, an unnamed university for the time being. If you guys find out, you can just find out. However, it's unnamed for the time being. In that, my freshman year was a year like no other. <laughs> Um, I, I used to live in upstate New York for most of my life, then I moved to South Carolina, Columbia in particular, and I love that city now, for reasons that I'll tell you later into the story. But I love that city, um, and I know I go to school up in uh, the DMV area, so it could be literally anyone in the DMV. It could even be in DC, who knows? Could even be in, in Virginia, who knows? And in this, um, it was different, right? My school was different from how, from how I was brought up. Okay, so Morty does some cool stuff. My school is different from how I was brought up. My school is definitely, <laughs> is definitely um, a little bit different than what I thought. So with that, so with that being said, when I got out into, when I got out to actually, you know, visiting my school, I was pretty nervous about the people, what they were gonna look like, how they're gonna, you know, think and all that stuff. Not that I'm a super nervous person. It's just natural things that happen with with college, right? <laughs> so with that being said, um, I get to my school and I actually lucked out. My year, my year, which was 2019, and 2019 coming to 2020. Anybody that has any idea of what I'm gonna say next, probably like, okay, I seen that coming. You know, with coronavirus being a thing, but that didn't happen until later, and I'll, I'll talk on that later. So coming into that, I'm actually, I actually lucked out, and I received the first set of on-campus housing. Like, it was, it was on-campus housing, but it was apartment style. Most of the time, it's for upperclassmen, but my year, um, they actually gave it out to freshmen. And so it was actually all freshman males that were able to, to receive this. So that was really awesome. It's like, okay, this is, this is going to be great. This is going to be great. Well, <laughs> the problem is that my roommates thought the same thing. So when we first started off, there were eight of us inside this apartment. By, this, by the second semester, <laughs> by, by the second semester, at least by the end of the first semester, there were only um, two of us left in the entire apartment. <laughs> so um my freshman year it was it's a it's a dorm it's like an apartment style dorms on campus and i lived with um let's say people that um did 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 things that weren't so savory <laughs> okay uh trappers people of that nature right and so this being completely new to me i just i just had no interest in being a part of that life so i would stay in the library every night but every time i came home there would be so many fun and interesting stories right like there was this one time <laughs> where 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 per usual the fire alarm is going off anybody's been to any college any university knows that the fire alarm is just what it's just what freshmen do they just set it off because they smoke they set it off because they drink they're just setting i mean not drink but set it off for any for any for any reason i'm like okay cool and i, I, I personally don't see anything wrong with that but i come home one time and about 15 dudes run out from the top floor right because it's, <laughs> it's like apartment styles and and as i'm looking into the room trying to figure out you know like what's happening it's usual but everything seems a little bit different i find out 15 dudes inside of like the top floor dorm and inside of this dorm <laughs> they literally set the couch on fire <laughs> they set the couch on fire and like um they had the couch on fire and then in there i saw a whole bunch of smoke and um and what is it it was a it was couch on fire oh yeah the couch on fire the tv was turned over and like the little table was also just like like literally just on blaze which is blazing so i thought that was pretty funny my freshman year um um, and then, and then there, there were also some some other things like that. So so for so for the most part, you know, like I did a whole bunch of things that freshman did. Um, I'm I'm an engineer, so I do a bunch of, like engineering things. Um, I actually was able to do some really cool stuff, such as go on to the World Trade Center in Baltimore. Um, not that that's like where I'm at, but you know, we took like an actually we took like a pretty 
pretty decently long trip, you know, from the area of the DMV to get to where to, to where the actual World Trade in Baltimore Center was at. But you know, it was it was it was really cool. And I got to do that. I also got to go on a few camping trips with um some of my friends because I was part of a camp called Young Life, which man was a culture shock. I will tell you that. And so, um, being being a part of that was a lot of fun. Well, one day after getting back, you know, in classes, you know, I was sitting inside the library, working out on like finance or engineering or something of that nature. But one night after getting back, um, I come into I come into my dorm and it's a lot of ruckus. I mean, it's people yelling, like they're screaming, but like it's not super duper duper loud, right? And so, um, please understand this is not necessarily safe for work. So I'm talking about some things on here that maybe kids would not be um, too comfortable with. And so I just asked you, uh, you know. Just either keep your ears tuned or something like that. And so, um, my roommate, who was a uh, big time dealer on campus, unfortunately, he's he's in the living room and uh, he's bagging up his weed. And so, me personally, you know, that's not what I do. I don't I don't drink. I don't smoke. You know, it's just not me. And so, and so, I'm like, hmm, you know, that doesn't seem like something that has to do with me. So I'm gonna go to my room and either go to sleep or I don't know play some cool music or something you know just just kind of just it's not not leave my space great well well um as as I'm going into my room I bust out of my room and he's like and he's like man just just chill just chill just chill so unbeknownst to me at the time which I later found out um my my, my room my roommate his 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 sorry my sweet baby his girlfriend at the time she 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 was really upset with him she was like Miles I mean not Miles she was like she she was like Jake that's his name. He was like Jake. Um, like I don't, I don't know why you continue to do this. Like I, I don't know why you continue to do this. And so he's sitting there. And he's like, Hey, look, honestly, you know, you, you really, you really don't know what smoke me right now. She's like, Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And so, and so, you know, like, like, like they were kind of, they were kind of a thing because um, he had four girlfriends at the time, which, <laughs> which I mean, most people say you know it's a bad thing, which I, I, I can definitely agree with that. Um, they were honestly cool. With it. All four of them knew, and they were just like, yeah, it's fine. That's just that. That's just like my man. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, 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 my fault. Um, yeah. So, so, so with that being said, you know, she was just like, I guess, I guess she got tired of being one of his girlfriends. I'm not 100 percent sure what the problem was. So I'm like, you know, that still doesn't seem like my problem, right? So he's telling her he's like he's like he's like he's, he's like he's, he's like Latasha. I I really don't want I really don't want us to have a problem. Let's just let's just casually solve this. Now mind you, he's still like bagging up his weed. And she's like, nah, nah, no, 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 no. Now mind you, just to give you guys a little bit of context, they're about they're about the same the same height and size. If Miles, I mean I mean if Jake is is about five foot like eight, maybe she's about like five foot. Five, five foot eight, five foot nine. Like I think she's a little bit bigger than him. Probably weighs a little bit more too, right? And that's and that's cool. So he's like, nah, nah, you don't want this problem. And she's just like, no, 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 because what you did was dirty. And so she's going off on him, and I'm I'm really not sure what's happening, right? So so he's gonna say, nah, like you don't want this problem. Just let me be, just let me be. And she's like, nah, nah, like so they start going back and forth. So he's sitting there as calm as can be. And he's like, yo, you really don't want these problems. All right, cool. So 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 then she somehow finds a water bottle. And, and that's fine. Water bottle. She throws it on him. And he's like, "I told you, you don't want these problems." So then he gets up, and I mean, they start brawling, right? I mean, I'm not gonna hold you respectfully. Like, yes, I was. A, yes, she, she was a woman. He should not have been a woman. But at the end of the day, it was a, it was a pretty, it was a pretty even fight. Like, I'm not gonna front. Like, I honestly don't know who won. So it was pretty comic. We all look back and we, we kind of like laugh because, like, you know, like, like it wasn't, you know, it wasn't too bad. Um, and so as this happens, right, right, we're all like, yo, chill, 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 chill. <laughs> <laughs> after that, um, <laughs> and then after that, one of the security guards, you know, in the area is like, hey, I hear a lot of ruckus. Like, you guys need to tell me what's happening. Um, you guys need to tell, you guys need to, need to tell me what's what's happening. Um, otherwise, I'm about to come in. And we're like, nah, don't don't do that. And the guy's like, nah, like I have to, cause I cause I hear somebody, you know, like I don't want anybody to be, being like abused, right? And I say, okay, can respect that. However, I gotta remember that, um. I'm um, like that, that, that. Like I was saying, that my sweet mate is also bagging up weed at this moment in time. So it's not so. So it's not like we can let security guard in to let him know, hey, everything's okay, because you know there's weed out. And that's completely not legal, right? <laughs> so we're somebody's like, nah, like you just can't come in. He's like, okay, well I'm gonna have to come back with the with the real police and stuff because somebody like maybe getting yada yada yada. We're just like, okay, <laughs> right? So at this point, I'm upset. I'm I'm pretty upset. I'm upset because I'm like, look, man. 
I'm like, I'm, I'm like, look, man, I just came back here to do my work. I just came back here to, yes, sir. Wait, hold on, hold on, real quick. Um, I just came back to do my work. Like, I'm really not, I'm really not trying to, you know, I'm really not, not trying to have that happen. Uh, I just got to taunt him real quick. Yes, sir. You see what I do? Um, orange juice. <laughs> so at this point, I'm like, nah, like you, you don't have to come back. And he was like, yes, we do, yes, we do. And I was like, all right. So I'm upset because I just wanted to come home as y'all can see. Wow, four kills. Completely carried. I did the second, uh, third most damage. Um, and <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to go home, you know, drink drink, drink my little apple juice, orange juice, or whatever I had, maybe like some water at the moment. And, you know, just, just call it a day. So I'm upset. I go upstairs to my friends, and I'm like, yo, like, like they're really doing the most. Like, I'm upset. Like, I don't really want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, man, just calm down, just calm down. So I'm thinking that real police is coming back. I go upstairs, be up with my friends, talk a lot of trash, make some, make like some music, yada, yada, yada. Come back down like two hours later. And there was a mob that had formed at my door. And this happened because they were upset that Jake apparently fought Tasha. And I <laughs> was like, honestly, there should be a mob because Tasha fought Jake. Because there's no way... <laughs> After the whooping that I saw her give him, respectfully, that they should be upset about anything other than the way that she handled him. And so, and so, um, that, that, that happened, and I, I was still not impressed by it. And, um, they actually ended up never coming back to the police or anything. Which always made me think, right? Let's just say that somebody, unfortunately, was getting, you know, like, abused or like that, which is no laughing matter in all honesty. The police would have just never came. <laughs> the police would have been like, eh, that's fine. They're fine, you know. And so, thankfully, it wasn't as bad a situation as maybe it seemed to be. But it, it was definitely, like, shocking. But we all look back and it's funny because, um, you know, you guys are probably wondering, why were they fighting? You know, was she just angry? Was she maybe drunk or something like that? I didn't know why. So, um, I actually found out why because the very next day I come to the room after classes and stuff like that. I came back early for some reason. Probably to, to do something about like, my friends who were like in the area-ish. I had one guy who was actually my friend in the dorm, but like nobody else was like too, too close, right? And um, the reason why ended up being, wow, how did I miss? Um, the reason why ended up ended up being because he, because she said that he did not save her number in, 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 in his phone, right? But what ended up happening <laughs> was that, was that, you know, when you turn your phone off, right? Everybody's number is not, is not going to be safe. It's just not. Like, that's just how, that's how phones work, because it's just brand new. Well, apparently, he just turned on his phone, she called him, and she was just so upset because, because, um, um because he just did not save her number, and she just could not, she just could not, you know, function knowing that her number was not safe mind you we had four girlfriends that she knew so i'm just like okay that's 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 an interesting kill to die on right um and and i was like okay that's that that's a very interesting kill to die on but i, I digress and so and so after that happened she then went to find me out that yeah you know all, all this stuff happened well the best part about it was that i come back in the very next day i mean they're laid up looking at me like Hey, I'm just like, weren't y'all just fighting yesterday? <laughs> and hold on, hold on, I gotta cook these guys real quick. Um, I was like, weren't I was I was like, weren't y'all just fighting yesterday? He's like, yeah, but like, but like she understood, and I was like, okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they end up getting back together, and really nothing much came of it, which which is both good, you know, which is good that uh <laughs> that nothing happened too much to them. Um, but yeah, so that was that was definitely one of my stories freshman year. Um, <laughs> another thing. Another thing, th thing that happened freshman year was that one of my guys, um, just, 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 just for like different reasons, he ended up getting uh, kicked out of third good, which was like the premier housing, as you can see, because as a freshman, it, isn't that just beautiful, just being able to, <laughs> to have those stories, right, stuff that you would just never forget in your life. Um, but one of my guys got kicked out of his housing, right, and um, he was, he was like, he was a smaller guy, and so what he actually did <laughs> was, was he used to like hide inside of like my homeboys, like literally like underneath like his bed like without him even knowing because one time we come back right and my, my homeboy's trying to go to sleep and he's and all here is hey yo so i'm so i'm so i'm wondering i'm just like what is this what what is this a yo about right <laughs> and he's and then he's like yeah bro i came back and bibby's literally i mean sorry and 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 um i'm um, in um, and jake is literally in jason my fault it's literally right underneath my bed and i was like hmm He's like, yeah. So I go in there and I look, and it's just like a little dude, literally crushing for the bed, talking about some. Shh, 
they don't have to know I'm here. I'm like, yo, bro, I don't think that, <laughs> I'm like, I think they kind of have to know that you're here. And so, hold on, hold up. let me, let me finish this right quick. Let me, let me finish this right quick. But yeah, and so, um, um, and, and another, yes, sir, comeback status, baby. Um, and, <laughs> and so that, so that was, that was pretty funny to kind of just find a random guy underneath your roommate's bed. But, um, as time, as, as time went on, certain people got kicked out. I'm not going to party with him. I'm going to give him some toast, though. And so as, as time goes on, um, you yeah, know, they're pretty good. Oh my gosh, four kills again is crazy. Um, so as so as time so as time goes on, um, you, you know you know things kind of like normalize and stuff like that. But some of the roommates ended up getting into some ended up getting into some debates. Um, ended up getting into some debates where uh, one party was clearly wrong, but you know how how how, how life goes. So so one of my like my only friends like at like real real friends inside of the dorm ended up having to go to like a different one. Um, and, and in the end, it was just me. It was just me, um, my actual roommate, like the one looking like my actual room, because it was eight of us in there, two to a room, four a room, sort of thing. And um, my actual roommate, oh yeah, it was just me, and my actual roommate. So the other rest of the guys moved out. So I got my own room in third grade, which was which was a lot of fun for the whole week <laughs> that I had it. I remember because there, 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 there was a girl that I really, really wanted to talk to so bad. I thought she was so cool. And, um, tough looking back, she really wasn't that cool. Um, but I was so excited because that week I had it planned out where I was gonna, where if you got your own room inside of third good, you were the, you were the man. I had a TV in there. I had a, I had an LED light set up. I had a nice, I had a, excuse me, I had a double bunk bed situation. What I did was I had my laptop. I hooked it to the HDMI on the TV so you can watch whatever you wanted on there, which is pretty cool. Um, and I had it set up like a nice where you can lay down and then still actually see the TV. So when that, so when I had that popping, I was excited. I actually had friends over there the night before. We watched like some like random YouTube series because I actually saw robots. I don't know if you guys remember robots and like how how how, how like how how kind of like goaded that movie was. So we actually saw robots, which was fun. Um, but then it started buffering, so we ended up watching like some like random YouTube um, series about like a murder mystery. Maybe you guys are familiar with it. Um, my 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 home my homeboy actually put it on, but I wasn't familiar with it at the time. So um so at that point I was like okay this is pretty cool. Um and I was like you know what this is the, this is the first day. Um, um, by the way, at this time, this is second semester, so it's, so, so, so now, so now it's spring, and so, you know, like, I'm, I'm, I'm still technically a freshman, it's just, like, my spring semester, so I'm like, oh, alright, bet, like, 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 this is really cool, like, I can, I can see myself, you know, like, being here, here, and I'm excited, and, um, and this is the first week, um, right, be, right after midterms, right, and so, and, and, and so, uh, I had everything all planned out for a while, and I was, I was really just ready. I was ready. I was ready for all the fun stuff I was gonna do this semester. Cause anybody knows me knows like I really enjoy, like, like, ha like having fun and like different events and stuff. And that actually comes into play like a little bit later. <laughs> and, and in that, oh yeah, cook them up. And in that, um, I was like, okay, cool. This, this is my week. So not, not my week. It's my first week. We ha be having it. So, bro, don't do that. Yes, sir. Yo, more, bro, what? I dead hit the. That's fine. That's honestly fine. Um, yeah, so this is, so, so this is my first week, we actually, like, like, having the, having the spots myself, so I was like, alright, bet, this is great, and this was spring semester, and, and, you know, I have everything all planned out, and I'm like, I'm like, alright, bet, we're gonna meet up on a Wednesday, alright, man, because I was so excited about that Wednesday, I was so excited, and, um, and, 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 um, and, and next, I mean, you know, I had everything all planned out, because I, like, had some people I'm gonna have over that night, and then some people I'm gonna have on Wednesday, and it, it was, it was, like, a really just good and fun time. So then, um, um, it was, like, um, it was the week of midterms, and in midterm week, week, it was the first, it was, like, one of, like, the first nice days, right? Same thing about that that lives up in the north knows that, like, it gets really snowy, and, and the days just, just get, like, really, not bad, but, like, you know, you just don't really want to be, like, physically outside, right, during certain days. So, it was the first nice day, and we had a first day party. So when, so when this, so when this day party, like, everybody went, like, everybody went, like, to the point where I probably saw, like, some teachers at the day party. I was like, man, like, this is beautiful. You know, people start playing hopscotch, people are playing jump rope, like, people doing all type of stuff, right? And, and, I mean, I was just excited, right? I was like, yes, this is what college is supposed to feel like, right? Oh, my gosh, no. Um, and so I'm like, man, this is what college is supposed to feel like, right? And, um, hold up, let me, let me just, let, let me just merge Wonder Woman right quick. No! Hold on. Oh, 
no. Um, and I'm like, man, like this is what college is supposed to feel like, right? And and you know, I go to first day party, and it was it was so funny because some people were outside the day party that literally, as I'm walking to the party, some random number that I never had saved quite literally texts me, and they say, "Don't get caught lacking." And I'm just like, where did you even get a picture from me? Why is your number not saved? Like, how do you even have my number? Like, why are you texting me this picture of myself saying, don't get caught lacking? And so, um, and so that's when people are literally like outside or excited to be outside and stuff like that. And, you know, I, I go to this day party and then th this was back when my school didn't give out emails every single day. And I know you guys can probably relate to it. And then, you know, as I walk back for, back in the day party, you know, it's the week of spring. It's the week for spring break. So all my friends talking about spring break. And there's this one guy who's like a notorious, like, storyteller. So he's sitting there telling a story about, oh, he's going to go to Jamaica and he's going to go to New York and stuff. So I'm sitting there and I'm walking. I'm just like, this is complete BS. You're not, you're not actually going to do all this stuff. But, you know, I'm being nice and stuff. And then... As they're walking, we hear bing 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 bing. We're like, what? What's 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 happening? And that was an email saying, hey guys, it's spring break uh coming up soon. I know it's midterms, but we're gonna actually have you guys go home this week, this home this Friday, right? But you're gonna have your spring break and you're gonna come back, and then from there we're gonna like finish up midterms or like whatever the heck, and then you guys will be uh will be coming back. So we're like. Oh, okay, that's a little bit strange. We're like, but pack up all your stuff just in case. So we're like, okay, that's a little bit strange, but all right, you know, it is what it is. I'll, you know, that's fine. And um, they're like, you know, but just pack up your stuff like just in case. So we're just like, okay, that's a little strange, but like, you know, it is what it is. Um, there's, oh wow, that's the me six box. I did not know about that. Um, and so I'm like, okay, that's fine. And you know, y'all know how 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 that how how that works. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Um, it was Corona at that point and then we were basically home for the semester but it ended up corona, corona was like it was a really unfortunate time for everybody like hear me out but um i think i think that given that where i was at in terms of like my actual um um given like like my actual like life and stuff and and kind of like like what my family my family was at, i think that it, it allowed like a lot of cool things not cool but a lot of a lot, a lot a lot of things to happen my family to get closer and a lot of stuff that like you know, maybe I needed to work on, like, within myself, it gave me that time to do that, and so, I, I think, I personally think that, like, without Corona, man, um, um, Emperor, Emperor Za would not actually be here right now, I can, I can almost tell you that, like, without a shadow of a doubt, and so, um, hold on, let me come back, um, yeah, 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 and so, I, I, I thoroughly broke, oh my, okay, um, yeah, and so I can say that I almost felt like a shadow of a doubt, and so yeah, um, it ended up that that was that that was something that was really, really beneficial to me. But I know that it was definitely a, a pretty tough time for everyone, and so you know my prayer my prayers 100% go out to everyone that was you know not affected by it or even not affected by it. You know, it was definitely a rough and interesting time. But um, yeah, I, I think that that was <laughs> a pretty good a pretty good test run of uh. Um, of not only Morty, I think I think I did a pretty good job given, but I also think that it was a pretty good test run of just story times and stuff like that. And I'll probably write it out more and I'll get a bit more. Um, we, did we just win twice? That's crazy. Um, yeah, and I'll, I will talk top, top of that, bro. We just we just won twice, so I think that's a good way to end it. But yeah, so I appreciate you guys tuning in with me. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And know I have a lot more coming. I mean, quite literally from just maybe just a morty playthrough that i may be coming to the channel next or even just um maybe like some basketball stuff or brawl or different games and everything like that so just let me know just keep me updated but uh peace guys and know that i love you forever bye